What's going on, one and all, and welcome back to One Way Bay, where I'm sitting right outside of Earl Land. What the hell is that building? That is F Fri <laughs> Frank's Fish Stick Factory, located inconveniently right next to Oil Land, Earl Land, but conveniently right next to some very murky water. So, I mean, he's a budget fish stick, fish stick maker. Ah, oh, jeez. I just said fish dick. Oh well. Uh, let's let's move swiftly on to what we are doing in this video. And frankly, I don't really know what we should do. Uh, there are a couple things that we need to do, but I'm not sure what we should do first. Uh, we need to kind of fill this area out with some residential. Basically expand Quake Heights out. And eventually figure out what we're doing with this lower part of this... Uh, it's not really a peninsula. It's just a weird segmented area into the bay from the river So yeah, we gotta figure out what we're, what we're doing with this bank of the river uh, Because we're looking to expand Earl land and eventually get some logging going on over here and To do that we're gonna need more people to be able to go to work here in Earl land and We need them to be living conveniently right here uh, the other thing that we still need to do is add some more unique buildings. And honestly, we really only have um, the budget at this point for one or two. But we should fill out our, our downtown district a little bit. And I'm not sure, I was kind of looking at it. I'm not sure what we should put down here. I like the taller buildings kind of situated roughly in the same spot. This building is just massive, and it's going to have to go somewhere, and I'm not sure where yet. I mean, we could... Mm, actually, we could maybe put it on this crossroad, which would be really cool, but I don't know... Oh, oh, it's actually on that road. Um, yeah, we may be able to work that in, but I'm not exactly sure. If we could put it on an angle, it would be really cool. Um... And it, eh, maybe one of these. Actually, this one might work. I might I might look at that. We might have to clean out all of this. Well, we're going to have to clean out all of that. But uh, what what the hell is this? Oh, statue of shopping. I don't remember putting that in. How is our horde of bus goers doing? <laughs> what? Where are they all? They are all at this stop now. And we... Hmm. We have a bus here. Where are all of the vehicles at? There's one there. There's one there. There's one. They're just kind of getting bottled up around. They're not coming back. What the hell are they doing? Oh, they're just kind of stuck at a light or something. What is this? Oh, no. They're coming back this way from here. Okay. Um, I think they're just stuck up in traffic. Which is the problem here, because there's a lot of traffic going on in here. Uh, should we maybe look at turning this? Or is that not a good idea? Because this one's going this way. And if they could flip around to come through here, it would make that route much more efficient. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Okay. Now they'll be able to come over here. And then it should clear up some of this traffic too. Like, more people will have to go into this lane. Because they're going to want to turn this way instead of going right down to here. Um, so, yeah, I think the unique building thing we might do in another episode. Or I might do off camera. Because it's going to be a lot of little tweaky stuff that you guys aren't going to want to watch. We are kind of in the middle of a death wave. Actually, we were gaining no... We were not gaining or losing anybody for a minute. Um, but, yeah... Should we maybe look at getting some more health buildings? Um, cemetery use is low. Our crematorium availability is pretty high. We actually didn't look at everything we needed to last episode. Um, yeah, we should probably get another elementary school somewhere in here. Or probably more over here. The only thing about elementary schools is the frickin' like reach with these one ways is just not enough at all it's ridiculous like actually that's a really good spot for one wow yeah let's do that let's put one right here 
Uh, and that kind of renders that one obsolete or unnecessary at this point, but I mean, I don't know, we'll keep it in for now. There are so many students in the city and just not enough um, schools at this point, which is why I think our budget is so high right now. Um, high schools we could use with more of. Now, I know we have the dropout thing. Okay, hold on. We have the policy in Farmville to have people drop out of school at a certain point, but I don't know how... How does that work? Un uneducated means they didn't go to school. Educated means what? They went to elementary school? Well-educated would mean high school, and then highly educated would mean college, right? I think so. Yeah, because there's three tiers. So... Wait. No, there's, there's four tiers here in three schools. Yes, so that makes sense. So, people... They're not well-educated in Farmville, they're just educated. But, how does that work with the policy? School's out. Uh, citizens will prefer work over education. And only a small portion will go to study at the university. Okay. So yeah, we totally should put a high school down here. That makes sense. Okay, reading solves a lot of things, guys. Just remember that. Um, so do we want to serve as this or this is what it comes down to. And I'm thinking this, probably. Um, if I can find a place to put this on a road that's going to allow us to do what we need to do. Jeez. Okay. I think right here is the spot. Yeah, that, that kind of works. Or should we? Yep, there it is. That's the one. Um, yeah, I don't see this. Wow. Nice. Yeah, I don't see this train station getting extended anytime soon. And actually, there's quite a bit of people here going to the um, main transportation hub in the city down in Pleasure Town. Uh, why? How many people can fit in a train? I don't know. Let's see as this goes if we should add another train. Uh, maybe. Wow, they are upgrading like crazy. Wow, listen. They love the high school. They are ridiculous ridiculously in love with the high school so that's good so technically if yeah since they're all upgrading we're actually gaining a little bit of tax revenue from them so although it does cost us to put a school in and to maintain it we are also kind of making up for that loss a little bit by having the buildings upgraded okay is there anything around town like cemetery wise that i can Go ahead and turn back on or unload or something. Not really. Oh, there's one. Good. Okay. Stop emptying because we need you to go pick up some dead dead folk. Because actually, yeah, we have a ton of dead people right now. I'm thinking maybe we should put one more crematorium in. Is it, yeah, it's a crema crematorium. Yeah, crematorium. Cool. <laughs> Uh, don't mind me, I just don't remember words sometimes a lot, so, <laughs> okay. Let's put one in up in this area right here. Sure, why not? Actually, that's a pretty decent area. Actually, it probably would have been better right there. You know what? Let's do two. Why not? We just need to combat the death streaks, the death strikes, the death stars. I don't know what I'm saying right now, guys. <laughs> uh, I do not know. All right, let's get back to this area of Quake Heights. I'm thinking that we're going to need to move the hospital or just turn it. And in order to do that, we're going to need to put the hospital somewhere else for a second. And I'm thinking like right here is fine for a second. Um, and then, okay. So I guess my plan is to run two roads, one up and then one back. This one-way thing is kind of tricky in these spots where there's not a lot of uh, space to work with. So I'm just going to try to follow this. Um, oh, yeah. I, I did learn that if you hold the control key, it turns snapping off, which is really nice. Or am I lying? I might just completely be lying right now. Oh, wow. That's cool. Um... Yeah, I might be lying. <laughs> it seems to still be there. But 
it seemed to work with paths, which was very weird. Or very nice, actually, I should say. Um, okay, so if I need more space in here, I can just go ahead and create some with the terraform tool. Uh, which it kind of looks like we might need. Also, we need to reroute this power. And I'm thinking we can just maybe take it down from over here. Um, because it's industrial anyway. And just run it up over to here. Can I connect up? No. I can connect up over here? No. What the hell? Come on. Connect up. There we go. Okay, and then I'm just going to delete the rest of these. This is kind of going to turn out to be a little bit of a buildy episode, so I'm sorry for you guys who do not like it. I know it can get kind of boring, but whatever. It needs to be done, and I hope you guys can at least pick up some sort of tricks or something along the way. Because I, I, I know how, how frustrating it can be to watch. But, uh, okay. Actually, that's going to work out. Oh, it fixed itself. Awesome. Um, okay. I'm just trying to plan this out a little bit here. Um, sure, whatever. And then I'll just kind of put it in there. That could sound dirty if you take it the wrong way. That also sounds dirty if you take it the wrong way. I'm just going to stop talking now. <laughs> Change the subject because I'm digging a hole. Okay, did we want to put a unique building in over here? Uh, I think so, but I don't think... I think it was something like this. It was the... What was it? The oppression office? Yeah, that's going to look cool down here. So, I'm pretty sure it goes long ways. Yes, it does. How many back is it? It seems to be... One, two, three, four... About five? So, we need to actually build a road five off of the beach. Or whatever you want to call it. So, one, two, three, four, five, and then there. So, yeah, that that is perfect. Look at that. Okay. So, this is going to look really cool. I'm hoping. That's, that's always the goal. And this area is going to be very bad because there's a highway right here, and then there's a train track right here. So, this is definitely not going to be the highest part of town in terms of uh, livability. Or, uh, what have you. Quality of living, I guess, is a good word. What are you complaining about? Oh, probably because they were flipped around or something? I'm not sure. Okay. Um. Yeah? No. I want to make this kind of symmetric. There we go. Okay, I just need to do one less there. One, two, and then come down with it. Cool. All right, so this is kind of this over here. I was going to look at maybe putting like a bridge over, but I don't know if we really want or need one over here. The hospital now no longer has a place to reside over here, which is great. Um, we're going to have to figure that out in a second. Let me just fix this first. There we go. That kind of looks a little wonky, but whatever. Um, and then we need to... Basically, you make some crossroads here so people don't have to figure too much stuff out when they're trying to maneuver around the city. Something like that, and maybe one more, I guess. So it's kind of like a nice circular pattern going through here. And that should be that. There should be no lights here at all. That's good. And now for the hospital. We desperately needed one over here, for sure. Um, we might just have to put it on the main road, though. And that seems to kind of work. Kind of. Kind of not, though. Uh, can't really put one in over here, although... I can't see. Yeah, I could put one in the, over there, but I'm not sure what good that's going to do. Let's... Uh, that actually does cover most of Quake Heights. There's just really no spot for it over here. Although, right there is a... Okay. Yeah, that's that's the one. That's where it's going. It's going in right here. Um, yeah, okay. Because it's going to cover most of all of this. So that's, that's good for us. 
And then I need to fix that path because it's now deleted. There we go. Cool, cool. All right. So we got that done. We got the oppression office up here built at least. I'm going to go ahead and fill in some of the space here with some residential and uh yeah i guess mostly just residential because or maybe some of this will yeah there we go yeah we'll put some of this in um the commercial that's the word i am just struggling today guys i'm sorry this is uh it's definitely not my best commentary but we're doing a lot of, we're, we're making some stuff happen here so all right yeah i'm just gonna fill up the rest of this why not and uh, I was thinking about putting some some sort of pathing in here. Um, just to fill this area out a little bit. And make it kind of interesting to look at. Before I fill it up with this residential. There we go. Cool. And then, of course, we're going to want to put a couple trees in. Boom. Done. Cool. Um, oh. They have no water. Which is kind of a concern, but it's okay, because we already have some water pipes run over here. I like how in the beginning of this series, I was so concerned about water pipes because it was hard mode. And uh, I was just concerned about getting, uh, c saving money. But as, it, as usual, if you've played this game, you know, you get to a point where you just have so much money that you just don't, you don't care anymore. You just spend it frivol frivolously. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of the point we're at now. Um, okay, so hopefully this power connects up when we get some more buildings around here. And holy crap, we got $10,000 coming in. $11,000 a week now. There's got to be something very wrong with our, <laughs> with our city. There has to be. Um, I'm thinking it's the elementary schools. I mean, maybe. It doesn't seem like it is, though. We just don't have any need for police at this point. Uh, are there any crimes going on in Farmville? Are there disputes over crops? Like, is one farmer really pissed off that someone's planting tomatoes next to their corn? And they're worried that they're going to cross-pollinate? I don't think so. There's actually kind of a fire issue in some parts of town here. Um, so I'm thinking maybe we should put another fire department down here somewhere, if I can fit one in here. What is, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. They go out, I forgot about that. So, I guess we'll put one right here. It's just gonna help the boot down here. Um, and that should help. Are these people sick or are they just complaining? Citizens are sick. How is our health care? Our death care is pretty good, but how is the health care? It's very, very good. Um, oh, the pinwheel district. When we did the policy last time of the heavy traffic, no, the old town. I think, oh no, I was going to say, I think it cuts off like everything, like buses and stuff, but it doesn't. It just, I guess it just makes it so there's not any cross traffic. So, like, someone over here isn't going to cut through the pinwheel district to get to here. Uh, which is kind of a weird law, but I guess I'll allow it. It's kind of interesting, at least. Um, and it's definitely cut down on the traffic over here. It's just a matter of where did all the traffic go, you know? I mean, there's still, there's still a weird bit of pile up over here. And, actually, let's take a look at our traffic overlay. I mean, we're getting kind of long here, but what what's going on here? Okay, so, this area is really bad up here, for some reason. Uh, it's probably because of all the bus stops on this road. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just making up shit again. Uh, it's probably because of this. Like, people want to go here, but since this is so small through here, they're getting backed up. Which kind of makes sense. There were a ton of cars over here. And actually, there's a good overflow going on here. At this point. Wait, no. 
Oh, I thought we were going to be able to cut the bus route in half, but they still have to go up around that to get over to here because there's this this road doesn't cut down to here before it goes over to the bus stop. So that's a little unfortunate. If I move that stop down one, it would actually help that. So actually, maybe we should do that. Although, at this point, there's so many people going through here that I don't know if it'll make a difference. No, it'll definitely make a difference. Okay. I'm just going to pull that stop down to here. Eh. And there they all go. There they go. It's the mass migration to the next bus stop. That we... <laughs> oh my god, the frames on this is right now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's the herd mentality that we saw in the last episode. I just like... Are those all the same? <laughs> Senior citizens walk slower than uh than non than the younger citizens and the dogs and apparently all of that that is hilarious i never noticed that before that is really funny wow well you learn you learn something new every day it's uh it's i, I guess this is a good place to stop this episode we didn't do all too much in this episode. We got a few things done, but we've got some things planned out for the future. Uh, a lot of the growth, I'm thinking, will happen off camera because that probably just wasn't that entertaining to watch. Let me know in the comments, though, if I'm wrong. Maybe you guys do like that kind of thing, but I just I don't feel like that's entertaining. Um, but, you know, if I'm wrong, let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're still, still digging One Way Bay. And uh, until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here in One Way Bay.